Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, 2001. How can we talk about the original Harry Potter story without talking about the Dursleys? The Dursleys were one of the primary antagonists in the franchise, being close relatives to Harry yet antagonizing him for his whole life. In the original Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone game, the Dursleys were set to appear in the PC and Mac version. However, they were cut from the game. This is evident from the fact that their models are still found in the game's files. Cast Alahamora to unlock it. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, 2002. The sequel, however, was a much different game, looking graphically superior and having much bigger gameplay additions, including a hidden level. In the PC version, there is a secret level known as the Gryffindor Challenge. It's only accessible with the debug mode. Press the delete key next to the help key, then move to beyond the door usually leading into the Gryffindor Tower's dormitory, then press the delete key again. The level will then load. There are 9 secrets and 10 challenge stars there. There is no timer for this level. LEGO Creator Harry Potter 2002 The LEGO Harry Potter games have a huge place in many people's hearts, and it all started with LEGO Creator Harry Potter. In fact, this game was so monumental for the LEGO video games franchise that this was literally the very first licensed LEGO video game to ever be released. Tricky, isn't it? Malfoy just won't stop moving. Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup 2003. Harry Potter and Quidditch go hand in hand. This is a staple sport in the game and is featured heavily in the books, the lore, and the films. Safe to say that it was almost a certainty that it would be featured in the game. Fun fact, it is the only audio-visual production in all the Harry Potter franchise in which characters talk directly to the camera due to the introduction. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, 2004. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is a monumental game in the franchise because it is the final installment of the traditional Harry Potter role-playing games. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, as well as Chamber of Secrets games, followed the books. The characters have models based on their book descriptions, and Hogwarts layout appears very much to be an original interpretation. Starting with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the video game franchise based itself entirely on the film canon, removing spell challenges, chests, and inventory management. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, 2005. Goblet of Fire was a huge deviation from the franchise's previous games in many ways. It had a different gameplay loop, a different style and aesthetic. It was also the first Harry Potter game that wasn't developed on the Unreal Engine on any platform. The same version was ported to all home consoles and developed using renderware. The PC versions of the last three games have been made on the Unreal Engine. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, 2007. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix pushed the aesthetic of the Harry Potter films even more heavily on the video game franchise, especially with the music that is featured here. The first Harry Potter game to feature licensed music themes from the respective film franchise, coupled with certain cues returning from the first two games. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, 2009. The Half-Blood Prince was a heartbreaking movie. It broke all of our hearts with its gut-wrenching ending that brought Dumbledore's end within the series. The same goes for the game, as it was an end of an era, as this was the last Harry Potter title to be released on the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation Portable. Lego Harry Potter, years 1 through 4, 2010. People were genuinely worried that they might never see another Lego Harry Potter game ever again after the long hiatus of the franchise. However, the release of the Lego Harry Potter, years 1 through 4, came as a huge surprise. And as the first Lego Harry Potter related video game since Lego creator Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets 2002, 
It was also the franchise's introduction on the new PS3 and Xbox 360 consoles. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1, 2010 The Deathly Hallows Part 1 was a global sensation as a film, and the video game release was a bit different in terms of what people expected. A fun fact about the game is that Alfred Enoch voices his character in this video game adaptation, although the film versions of Deathly Hallows Part 1 does not feature Alfred Enoch portraying Dean. Not to mention, it is the only film in the franchise to not have him in it. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 2011. Did you know that Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 managed to include a scene that was intended for the movie, yet was never actually added into it? There's a cutscene near the end of the game where Harry jumps out of Hagrid's arms and Draco throws him his wand. This scene was intended for the film, but did not make it to the final cut. Lego Harry Potter, years 5 through 7, 2011. The one thing people always expect from a Lego game is the constant self awareness. In Lego Harry Potter, years 5 to 7, there is particularly a moment in the game where Harry breaks the fourth wall. Harry appears to break the fourth wall by gesturing at the camera after a Horcrux is destroyed, though such a thing isn't always a fourth wall break. Harry Potter 4 Connect, 2012 Harry Potter 4 Connect from 2012 is the one and only game in the franchise which is genuinely not available on any other platform but the Xbox 360 with the Connect tech available. There is no other game in the franchise that isn't on multiple platforms, some even going so far as to be on almost all different platforms available at the time of their release. Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery 2018 Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery is a recent addition to the franchise and a foreshadowing of the series' return to its RPG roots. The customizable player avatar is a student at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry between 1984 and 1991. This places them in the same class as Charlie Weasley and Nymphadora Tonks, two characters already familiar to Harry Potter book readers and movie this viewers. Is your Hogwarts story. Harry Potter Magic Awakened 2020 Harry Potter Magic Awakened was the 2020 mobile game addition to the franchise. A fun fact about the game's title. This title was also used as an early title for the game Hogwarts Legacy, for which test footage was leaked in 2018. The existence of Hogwarts Legacy was confirmed on the 16th of September 2020 through the PlayStation 5 event. Hogwarts Legacy 2022 Hogwarts Legacy is the upcoming game in the Harry Potter gaming franchise, which isn't at all related to the story of Harry Potter itself. In fact, the game is set many years before the events of the game and will feature custom characters. It will include an open world that consists of the entirety of the Hogwarts grounds along with the surrounding areas such as Hagrid's house, the surrounding forests, and a lot of the underground dungeons within Hogwarts. It is the most ambitious Harry Potter game to date. We'll reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts.